project is a participatory storytelling project, um, and it all is based on our photo photograph here, who we nicknamed Tom. Um, Tom is an unknown soldier. Um, he's a little bit different to the portraits held at um, the libraries and the galleries. At the time when they took the portraits of the World War One soldiers, they would etch their name on the glass negatives so that they could recognise it. Um, our Tom doesn't have one, so he doesn't have a recorded history or a story. So what we wanted to do was give him one. Um, we were careful not to impose a story because he is real. He did have a story. You just don't know it. So what we're going to do? Um, sorry. Um, so our project, we will project his photo on a wall. And on display around it are what you see on the table, QR codes and little postcards. Um, once you scan the QR code, it'll take you to our blog, um, and it will help me tell my story blog. There'll be four questions on there. Um, to help contextualise the questions and make sense of them, there's content about the war, about the themes we're talking about. What you would do is put your answer into the comment section, and it would scroll live on the projection. So it's gives you a sense that um, Tom is interacting with you, telling you about the story, telling you about his story. Um, but really, they're about your stories, your reflections <coughs> on what World War I means to us as New Zealanders. So that's our project. Um, and now Lou will tell you about how it works. Cool, so it's important to think of Tom as a vehicle. We're using him for you guys to share your interpretations of the war. Um, and we've released it in two stages. The first stage is this, what we have for the assignment, <laughs> which consists of postcards, QR codes, and our blog. And then stage two is actually a rolling feed, which is the really interactive thing that will happen at the library with the big projected image.